I like you and I want you. Now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. <laughs> Hey, how's it going nerds of Ark, and welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm gonna be, <laughs> wait a minute, can we just, hold on, wait, what? Can we just take the time to appreciate the fact that I actually started off the video normally? <laughs> okay, I just now realized I ruined it by pointing it out. Anyways, <laughs> in today's video, especially coming off of the previous video that required a lot of effort, I wanted to do something that was, how do I say it, more chill, less effort? Because yeah, the last video I did, you know, the anatomy one was very stressful and time consuming to make. But yeah, I'm talking too much now. Basically, in this video that you're watching on this very day, I just want to share information on how I think one can improve their art style. So, so if you recall, I already made an art style video. But if you also remember, that video was about finding your art style. And unlike that video, this one is how to improve it. Because if y'all know me, I hate satisfaction and as a matter of fact, I have most likely probably somewhat maybe said on this channel before, I hope, that satisfaction is the enemy of growth. But yeah, let's not waste any more time, let's get hippity hopping to the things that the thing, you know. Oh. What? God, that was a bad transition. <laughs> Whatever, I'm not redoing it, let's go. I came looking for booty. Okay, so really quick, let's get this done, okay? Because I don't want this video to be too long, but to summarize this entire video, like I'm even talking like summarize things that I haven't even gotten into yet. If you want to improve slash better your art style, you need to keep studying other artists. Now, obviously, based on the title of this video, it goes without saying that I already assume that at this point in your journey, if you're watching this video, that you already have something you call your art style. Now, if you're someone who's like, Diddy Mark, how do I get an art style? How do I know if I have one already? I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> well, I suggest that you go watch my previous art style video, as I think, you know, that's kind of a prerequisite for this one. I probably should have said that at the start of the video. Oh well, too late now. But basically, continuing the main point, you need to be constantly studying almost any and all artists you even remotely like or find captivating. So what do I mean by studying other artists? I mean that you are carefully observing the shit out of their art to pinpoint what exactly you like about it. And I mean that. So for example, in my previous video, I say start with three artists and mishmash their styles together. So let's say you now have the art style combination of those three artists. You then need to keep adding on other aspects of different artists that you like onto that mishmash you created and you start to see something beautiful unfold in front of your eyes. The more you do it, the more unique your art style is. Like, it's amazing. It's literally amazing that the fact that you can take from others and build something completely unique, that's crazy. That's crazy. Just because you like the way Horikoshi draws faces doesn't mean that you can't create something you might like even more if you just say, I don't know, integrate the way Murata draws the human jaw with the way Horikoshi draws faces and you can mishmash that together and there you go, that's already something that's pretty unique. And yeah, that being said, basically that's one part of improving your art style. And I'll call that the, um, you know what, I'll call it the steal like a motherfucker face. <laughs> like I really mean that. You steal shit from other artists, okay, to create something new. And then if you like, you can add on your own unique flair to it. God, I hope this is making sense to somebody. You know what, I'll use myself an example, okay? Let's look at my manga style. At the point of me recording this video, this is a double spread page from the most recent installment of my series, Metal Souls. By the way, go read it on issue 144 of Saturday AM, hashtag shameless plug. But basically, <laughs> let me snitch on myself real quick, okay? So as I said in my previous art style video, the three artists I copied and mashed together to create my art style at first, like I'm talking when I first started, was Masashi Kishimoto, Gege Akutami, and Yusuke Murata. Like I also said then, I stole the way Murata draws faces, the way Kishimoto does anatomy, and the way Akutami draws hands. Since then, the artist I've stolen and mishmashed into my style to make it what it is now is that I took the way Boichi and Jim Lee use solid black song characters, I took the way Kaja number no. 8 Naoya Matsumoto uses those little spikes at the end of the solid blacks, I took the way Chainsaw Man inks and then I combined that with the way Yusuke Murata inks to make my inking style now, I also took the way Ethan Becker draws geometric faces and mishmashed that with the way Murata draws faces, you know, that I already had, 
And also, I took away Boichi, Jim Lee, and Murata draw male anatomy and mishmash that with the way Kishimoto draws anatomy. I took the way Kaju number 8, Naoya Matsumoto again, and Yusuke Murata toned their manga to create the way that I toned mine. Like, I also freaking combined the style of drawing action from Jujutsu Kaisen, Black Clover, and One Punch Man to create my own style of drawing action. <sighs> like, I could keep going, but I won't, because I'm lazy. <laughs> Hopefully, all of what I said made sense, okay? Anyways, to emphasize the never-ending aspect of constantly adding on to improve your art style, even if it's just a little, like I said, this is a double spread from an already released installment of Metal Souls, my series. But I believe my style has changed quite significantly since when I drew this, even though it was literally only a little over a month ago that I drew this, okay? Since then, I've integrated the way Murata hatches his work white manga's clip studio paint page dimensions that i got from his stream and the way murata holds his pen huh yes <laughs> you heard that right the way he holds his pen guys if you didn't know there are multiple videos of yusuke murata working on slash drawing one punch man that you can watch on youtube and you best believe my ass was staring at those videos religiously to pick up any tips i could get and in doing so I realized that Murata holds the pen, you know, way higher than I do. And after I noticed this, I started holding my pen at a higher point. And you know, I don't know if it's placebo or whatever, but it changed quite a lot for me. And I cannot stress how much you do yourself and your art style a favor by studying and stealing from artists you admire. Basically, I might have named this video how to improve your art style, but I don't quite think improve is the right word. I think an art style evolves rather than improves but you know the word improve could also work i guess because your art style is evolving in an upward trend at least in your point of view it should so i guess that's improvement but basically finally the quote of the day should be as your art skill is improving your art style should be evolving alongside of it the choice is yours okay so if you caught it at some point early in this video I said that stealing from other artists and adding it into your own Franken style of an art style is only one part to improving your art style. You know what the second is? It is tenacity. Tenacity. Tenacity is not only a trait that you need in order to thrive in almost any aspect of the real world and real life, but in your art too. That persistence, that ability to not give up, that ability to keep going is key to improving at any facet of art. Why do I say this? Well, because we humans are creatures of habit. So although I might easily just say, oh, copy the way this artist does this, or, or the way this artist does that, it sounds easy on paper, but you'll find it's not so easy when you actually physically do it. When you try to copy the way an artist does something, you'll quickly notice you find yourself getting frustrated that you can't get it to look the way the artist does it. Or you find yourself habitually going back to your old way of doing things, maybe unconsciously, but sometimes you might frustratingly go back because it's too hard to get used to. See, it's easy to say, oh, I'll copy the way Murata hatches or the way Boichi inks, but it's hard to stick to it. The goal should be stick to whatever you decide to implement until it becomes second nature. Okay, so everything I listed earlier that I personally stole from various artists, yeah, it took me as long as a week before it became second nature to me, before I could actually stop actively focusing on drawing the nose this certain way, or hatching the character this certain way, or even holding the pen this certain way. <laughs> I always found myself going back to the old way of doing things, you know, my old way of holding the pen, my old way of drawing the nose, because it was hard to get used to the way that I'm trying to implement. You get what I'm saying? Discipline, tenacity, and persistence is the other part of improving, or better yet, evolving your art style. Thank you all for watching this video. It means a great deal to me. Make sure to like, subscribe, and also do not forget to leave a comment because I, D, Mark, respond to any and all comments, baby. Also, also, please go check out these Saturday AM graphic novels because although I don't have a graphic novel available for pre-order myself, it still helps me out a huge ton. That being said, I love all you beautiful art nerds. Till next time, tis I, Diddy Mark. Peace and love, baby.